Thank you, my people. Thank you, viewers. I am Tutor Kletu Sokoli, your master dog. In today's mass class, the topic is log readings. We are given to simplify two questions, but we start with one. Watch the video till the end. Between three and four minutes, we shall be through with this class. The video is not going to take long, but watch and learn with me. Simplify log square root of 27 divided by log square root of 81. To start with, I am given log square root of 27 divided by log square root of 81. I want to express the square root as a power and that will now be log 27 raised to power half all over log 81 raised to power half. I have now changed the square root to become power 1 over 2. The next now we do, I want this 27 to be written in base 3 and it is the same thing as 3 raised to power 3. And also, I want 81 to be written in base 3. It will still give me 3 raised to power 4, meaning 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times. Alright? So, I want to apply this. Anywhere I see 27, I will put 3 raised to power 3. And where I see 81, I will express it as 3 raised to power 4. Therefore, I shall be having from here now, log, my 27 now will be 3 raised to the power 3 multiplied by half, divided by log, my each one will be written as 3 raised to the power 4 multiplied by half. If I work on that, I shall be having the log of 3 times half, which is now 3 raised to the power 3 over 2, and the numerator. And at the denominator, what I shall have is the log of 3 raised to the power 2 because 4 times 1 over 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, when I multiply power 4 by half, I shall be having left 2. Now, I want to apply the power law of log readings. That law says, if you are given log x raised to the power n, that it is equal to n log x. This is a law in log readings. So I shall be applying it to this question where I have log 3 raised to the power 3 over 2. The 3 over 2 will now move to the back like this n. And at the denominator, my 2 will move also to the back. That implies that I shall be having 3 over 2 log 3 at the numerator. And at the denominator, I shall have 2 log 3. This is very correct. Now, you can also observe that I have log 3 at the numerator. I have log 3 at the denominator. I can cancel them out and what I am left with is 3 over 2 at the numerator divided by 2 at the denominator. So working with that, what I shall now have is 3 over 2. I now change the division to multiplication to have 1 all over 2 implying that my final answer is 3 times 1 all over 2 times 2 equal to 4. We can now therefore conclude that the log reading of square root of 27 all over the log reading of square root of 81 is equal to 3 all over 4. Now, in the next 60 seconds, we shall solve the second question, which is question 2. I am asked to simplify 2 log 30 minus, that is 2 log 30 to be 6, minus log 150 base 6. Let us dive in. The same law 
I used here where I said that log x raised to the power n is equal to n log x. I will apply it here. That means that these two at the back will come to the front so that I can now have log 30 raised to the power 2 base 6. Since they are equal, meaning that two of them can be used interchangeably. Then next, I have minus log 150 base 6. Moving forward, I want to work out on this power, which means 30 raised to the power 2 should give me 900 base 6. Then minus the log of 150 base 6. By this subtraction here, I will apply the division law of logarithms. Where it says, if you are given log x, maybe base a, divided by log y, base b, that it is equal to the log of x, base a, minus log y base b. This is a law in logarithms. So I am going to apply it here. As it is here by the right hand side, that is what I am seeing in the question. Meaning, I want to change it to look as it is in the law by the left hand side. So therefore, I shall be writing this as now the log of 900 base 6, okay, then divided by, you can see this now will be the denominator, the log of 150 base 6. From what I have now, I can write it as log using one common base, base 6, divided by, into the bracket 900 all over 150. Good. I have applied that law beautifully. This implies that, just a few more seconds, I can divide 900 by 150. And that means 900 by 150, 0 cancel 0, 3 here is 5, and the 3 into 90 is 30. 5 into 30 is 6. Therefore, we can now say that 900 divided by 150 is 6. So I'll be left with the, the log of 6 base 6. And the law in logarithm says that if I have log x base x, that it is equal to 1, meaning that the logarithm to its own base is equal to 1. I can now conclude that log 6 base 6 is equal to 1. In conclusion, our final answer to the question 2 log 30 base 6 minus log 150 base 6 is equal to 1. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Você